Hustle nigga, big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Not none. You know my dad. Well, go on. Man, hey man. We, you know what, man? This man. Hey, listen, man. They done, hey, this man. This man right here, man, kept me going a lot of time when I didn't know. I didn't really have nobody to go to. I had this guy right here, man. That gutter TV say, man, you gonna be big, man. And yeah. I took it to heart too, nigga. I thought you talking to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, man. Hey, man. Thank you, man, for coming on the show, man. For so, for man, so, thank you, man. So. Like, man. It's refreshing to get people in that really, really built the foundation and really don't don't really get they just do like they should, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, yeah, man, because yeah. you really from the old school to me. You my OG, man. No, nah, for sure. You know I'm, I'm, I, I feel that way, too. I'll be with that. I'm cool with being from the older era, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you put that work in. You you laid the yeah. foundation, man. Yeah, even with the new ones, you know, with the new kids, too. So. Yeah, so we want to, we really like to, I know how you, I'll let you say that We part. like to take it back. We take it all the way back, my way brother. Way back. When you was a kid growing up, before we got a from, TV, before got a TV, when you wanted to be maybe a fireman or a policeman or something like that, <laughs> she, he like I ain't never want to be no damn police. I know, I'm, I'm, just, playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> what, but we want to take it, it back. All right. I want to know about your upbringing. I want to know the struggles you've been through. I want to know everything you had to go through to make you into the person that you are today. Wait. I mean, yeah, that's cool. We can get it. Go ahead, tell me. Go what ahead. You, what you want to know? You got to, because I, I, I can't. Oh, you want me to ask this? Yeah, you got to ask something, because, okay. like. Where are you from? I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock. Yeah. Okay, how was it like growing up in Little Rock? Little Rock, it was. It was that's uh, country, right? Nah, Little Rock hard. Shit, Little Rock is, it's like Dallas and shit. It's just small. You went down there, we went through 30 and 40 going but to Memphis. Just going down there is not yeah, actually nah, staying yeah, down there. Yeah, 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 you got to get, yeah. yeah. get in the mix. But, so, yeah. but, but no, nah, yeah, it was, you know. What are y'all known for? Oh, uh, banging shit. Yeah, for sure. Let me run that. Really? Yeah. Okay. But we love the what? hogs, though. We love the Razorbacks. Yeah. So we known oh, for okay. the hogs. Like, oh, okay. we love the Razorbacks. You okay, know? okay. Yeah. okay. So, um, how were you raised? Like, you were raised in a household with your mom and dad? Just single. Single mom. Single mom? Yeah. The statistics. Boy, I'm telling yeah, you. Everybody. Why does everybody fall into that bracket? I mean, There's well, so you know, that's, that was then. You know, it's different now. Me and my partners, we raised in ours. You hear me? Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, believe that. Stuck with the mom and everything? She stop playing. Well, who? <laughs> who, who, who you, you said what? You stuck with their mom and everything? We ain't going to say that everybody <laughs> stick with their mom. That ain't what I'm saying. I said all my, me and my partners and my brothers, we in our you, kids' life. Active like, father. Yeah, we active. active okay, so yeah. you didn't know your dad or did you? I didn't, but you, didn't? you know what I'm saying? I know who he is, but I don't know okay. him. Oh, okay, okay. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I ain't never be around him or none of that. Really? Yeah, no. Never. So, if you saw him right now, would you say anything to him? Hell yeah. What would you say? I don't know. I'm a nigga that, I ain't tripping. I want to meet my nigga and talk to him and all that. So, Come you just on. don't know where he is? I know where he at, but I ain't going to make all the just do right now to try to get to nobody. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'll fuck with him, though. Okay. He, think, okay. he started hitting me in the, on the Facebook and shit one day. I was like, this dude, this him, this him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you was excited. I was. And you should have been like, hey, pull up. Let's talk. Hell no. <laughs> but you got to think about it. I mean, I think Offset, he had some type of situation with his dad where he blessed him and everything else, man. You just got to be able to get yeah. past. When it, because but without him, we're we not here. My dad never, mm -hmm. he passed now, but he never told me he loved me. He never yeah. hugged me. That just wasn't who, who he was. So yeah. when he was there, he really wasn't just prevalent to me. He wasn't like, I couldn't. I couldn't rock with him like that. Now he taught me how to be a man, how to work, but he ain't just, he ain't just, no, nah, he ain't for the play. I never played nothing with him. He didn't play. That nigga ain't played with play. nobody. Nah, he ain't played with yeah. nobody. But so you damn sure wasn't playing with me. But from a female's perspective, or from my perspective, because I can't talk for any other female, I be thinking about it's good to know that side of family because for health purposes, if something ever go wrong with, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? You, you want to know where it in, come from right, and all that. All of that sort of stuff. So that's why I always feel like it's important, even if you don't stay friends or stay cool with the person, but you still need to know acts or I mean, we, I feel like we're going to link one day. I say that. Yeah. But guess what? His other kids, mm -hmm. I fuck with them. Okay. Yeah. So they how many brothers and sisters you. you got? You know, they love, you know, come on now. You got a TV. Come on now. They, they, they already love. know. 
How many you got? How I many just, brothers and sisters? I was sisters? just talking to my, my relative. Excuse me, I'm sorry. No, but I was good. just talking to my relative that's in the pen. I ain't talked to him in probably about two two years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he one of the youngsters, and he was like, Blood, you lit. Blood, you been, you know how you is, blood. He like, man, everybody down here, they be down here capping his teeth. He talking about everybody back like they popping bottles and recording at the studio and shit. He said, these niggas don't know you, blood, but I just be sitting back listening. I said, yeah, yeah that's my, <laughs> I'm like, that's my relative. Yeah, you a player. Real player. You ain't got to step in there and be like, that's my relative, that's my family. I'll let, but somebody say something wrong, you going to box them down. You feel me? Nah, yeah. real talk. No, real no talk. That's the way it be when you really, uh, you waiting on a nigga, you waiting in the cut. I got yeah, it. Sitting in the cut, yeah, he waiting, but he yeah. know the real. He know we blood for real. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that's what matter, man. Yeah. So when when you when I think of gutter TV, man, I think about all the extraordinary things you do. But how did you get that that that, that drop with with that web with that's Webby, ain't it? You gonna yeah. be big? How did you how did you end up getting that drop? And how did you know that was the one? Uh, I mean, I just, I just I just be knowing that type of shit, like what makes sense. But I was chilling at Webby House. We were just smoking, chilling. It wasn't no filming type of shit. We was just, we were just smoking, chilling, talking. But with the shit we got to talking about, I'm like, man. I was like, damn, I wish it was a way to record this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be cameras on the um, on yeah, on your on computer. The computer. That's right. And I have my laptop everywhere I go. Yeah, me too. So boom, I whip out the laptop. I just sat it on his studio board and think hit, hit that, that little. Up. Hit that little uh not even you know the little camera photo booth or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I hit yeah. record. And shit, he ran for probably about, you know, that shit record forever. Yeah, it's it like three hours worth of footage. Wow. One day I'm just bored you listening to the shit. Yeah, I still got all that. But I'm just bored listening to the shit. And he say that shit, I say, hold on, let me. Uh. At the time, I had Mac Main on there. Okay. Yeah, I had Young Money on there. They were saying, go to TV, fuck him, you heard me? Yeah. And that shit was getting big. But I was like, this shit here might work. So I tried it, right? With Webby. And the video probably went crazy. And I was like, damn. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it again. And I was like, man, really? This just it. This is it. We're going to keep running with it, hell. I just kept going with it, hell. I love it, man. Because every time I hear it, man, it's just something about it. I'm like, that's, yeah, that's got to be. But you know, I be saying that's God, too, because my whole life, I've I been wanting to be on some motivational shit, too. You feel me? So. Like, look what he did for me. No. He gave me a drop that's more ins inspira you know, inspiring than, than anything. Like, people see wow. me and say that and go crazy. How did you meet Webby, though? How did you end up meeting him? When I In Little Rock, I used to book shows. Okay. So I used to bring him to Little Rock. Yep. And, so, and then y'all got so tight that you end up in... When I, was in staying, nah, when I was staying in Atlanta. Okay. It's a deep story. On I'm the, listening. The, that shit. All right. <laughs> I'm staying in Atlanta. I'm having some trouble where I'm staying at, paying rent and shit. Yeah. Because I'm out there trying to figure it out at the moment, right? Life. So, my partner come in my room one day. But at the time, I'm lit in Atlanta. I just got here. I'm probably four, six months in Atlanta. But I'm lit. Yeah, they loving you. Man, if gutter ain't at your spot, it ain't you ain't doing shit right now. So... I'm, but I'm having a little trouble trying to figure out how to make the money from everything I'm doing. Exactly. So uh, my partner who I'm staying with one day, he blessed me with the crib. He uh he busts in the room one day like, bro, it's the eighth, bro. We got to pay the rent. He like, God damn, bro. He like, he like, bro, all these people, come on, bro, figure something out. He said, hey, come on, help me out, bro. He said, all these people you know. He say, all these people you know, come on, man, somebody can help you come up with this shit. I ain't need nothing about three, four $400. I ain't no nigga that to talk to like that. Okay. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I'm a hustler. So, like, I always hustled my whole life. But when I, I took a chance going to the A. Yeah. Feel me? I gave up the trap. You got to jump. Sometimes. Like I said, even my partner at the time when I moved, he was like, you crazy. Say, you stupid. Like, we got into a real fist fight. I can call the nigga right now. He'll tell you, like, Oh yeah, I called that nigga stupid. I was like, cause I was up. But I was like, man, I'm finna go to the A. And I just moved. You feel me? But yeah. saying all that to say shit, uh, I was doing uh bad. My partner was like, uh, hey bro, figure something out. So I get to going through my phone when he closed the door. And I'm really like, man, I wanna go in there and fight the nigga. Yeah. This my nigga Dane Dash. And I'm like, man, I wanna go in there and fight the nigga. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I'm hot. I'm like, nigga came in and tried to check me or some shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. like, nigga, and I ain't no nigga be tripping over no three, four hundred dollars. So I ain't used to that. Yeah. It's just I ain't, I ain't got it at the time. So yeah. it's, it's hitting me like, damn, the shit fucked up. So at the moment, though, I'm like, he right, though. When I sat down and laid in the bed, I was like, damn, that nigga right. I'm a grown ass man. I'm only like 22 or something. Yeah. But I'm like, damn, I'm laying in the bed. And I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? I can't do this. With so boom, I get the, he say, go through your phone or something, nigga. That's what he said before he closed the door. So boom, I'm really thinking, I go through my phone. I get the going, I started, eh? Hey, it's crazy to this day I do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Some dope, real play dope, shit. Dope. This shit is genius. Give up too. the game. But I I, I started at A, hey, and everybody that I hit just wasn't saying what I wanted to say. But when I got down to W, which is Webby, I'm saying to myself before I call him, like, I'm down to W shit. It's on. It's it's over. Like, yeah. God damn, it's I ain't, over. I ain't I'm gonna my stomach gonna be touching my back. I dare to go home. So <laughs> like, and I'm like, Webby, Webby, I, I didn't met Webby a few times. So I'm like, man, Webby ain't the one finna respond how I want him to respond. Yeah. You feel me, bro, real. He just got her. He just got her. Yeah. But when I called him, he said, I said, hey, bro, I need to get on the road with you or something. I need to do something. I need to make some money. That nigga said, this true story, too. This is just how I called him. Soon as he answered, because I didn't expect him to answer. I was like, hey, I need to get on the road with you or something, bro. I need to do something. He said, what you want to do? I said, man, I don't know. I said, nigga, I just need to get on the road with you or something. You feel me? I need to make some money. That nigga said, man, holla at big boy. I don't know nothing about all this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, I'm going to send you a number. He gave me a number. And I'm like, this nigga gave me a security guard number? What the fuck I'm going to do with a security guard number? You know what I'm saying? Like, But I ain't going to lie, I called the number. End up chopping it up with him. The nigga say, meet him at the mall. I meet him at the mall, at Lennox Mall in Atlanta. Yeah. And it was Big Mel. He owned Trill Entertainment. And she, we just locked, locked in. in. And he started, you know, pretty much um, come up with a budget and say, "Let's we going to rock out? He put me on the road with Lil Fat, his son. And then yeah. he put me on the road with Webby. Shit, I was just I was doing everything. I was everything around the camp. So wow, that's dope, yeah. man. Little fat man, he passed on, didn't he? Mm-hmm. How, how was how was that for you, being that you were so connected to him? That was heartbreaking. Cause I, I remember when it happened. I, yeah. I didn't really know, like like I knew he was in Atlanta. Uh, you was yep. at, in Atlanta at the time. I had just left Atlanta. Okay, so just break down to me how, what what that day for you. Uh, that day? That day you heard about it. That's, damn. What's that? That's like, probably like June 7th. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was, um, I was with my, with my, I think I was with my, with my baby mama now, my, my, you know, my son's mother now. Okay. And we was chilling and then somebody hit me. Cause you know Instagram and shit wasn't just it big wasn't like really, it time. wasn't really big at that time. So somebody just hit me and they said something weird and I was like, nah, you know, uh, yeah. Then I got another call, another call, and then you know I got to Atlanta. Shit, you know, this is one of them things. So shit, yeah, I you know you gotta just ask the questions more on why? that. Like, and like, I, why? You feel me? And I can maybe answer. Yeah, no, I'm just shit, saying when you got to Atlanta, it's just like. You, you you done lost uh, somebody that came up in the game with you when you yeah. didn't have nothing. When you just explained to me, it was tough. You didn't have anything. Yeah. So yeah. now you've been around these people. You've been around the dad. You've been around the son, the friends, the whole camp. And so now you got to respond to that. My homeboy that left Dallas with me got killed, got out the car the next day. He was dead. Uh, got shot, got actually uh, stabbed and, and by his own uncle. And then yeah. shot and threw, up, threw out at the church. And I came back. He was a twin brother the next day. And I had to come back because his gun was left in my car. We were hustling together. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, i never forget that day. Oh, I had to go I take never, his twin look. brother that gun because he was heated. And he was like, man, uh, my brother had a gun. Man, where, where's the gun? I said, I'm going to bring it back to you. I'll it was you with me. You know what I'm saying? Right, so It's like this, though. In Atlanta, at the time, excuse me. At the time, like I told you, I was lit. Yeah. So when I got around Webby and them, that ain't really where I got my money and my come up from. Okay. I was already going. Going, okay. But I helped they situation yeah, too yeah. because they situation kind of was on the 
down spiral at the time. Yeah. Boosie just went to jail, all yeah. of that. It was on I the down. I remember he was in jail when So thing, when I thing. came around, it was I, I brought it up. Uh, yeah. But what I'm saying is, I didn't even really get the money from over there or nothing. Like when I started coming up, it was more like shit. I was already in the mix, but I'm saying I learned how to make money. money. Exactly. You feel I me? Get it. I learned how to make that money from sense. what I was doing. And Mel helped that part yeah, yeah. because I was just around niggas with money. And they make it moves. And they with make their money. moves. So I'm trying to figure shit out. And I, I, I was figuring shit out on how to put my shit together. How to you move. feel me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but on that day, I will say this though. I was so mad, so fucked up that I was driving probably 150 on the highway, arguing with anybody to call or my 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 baby mama that rode with me. I'm 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 just I was and then the police pulled me over. I'm 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 about to get in the whole shootout with the police. Like it was just a whole rough day though, cause yeah. I was already mentally gone. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. this what I was gonna say. I was real tight. With Lil Fat and Jay Money. Okay. Jay Money is my dog right now. Okay. But I'm just saying, like, I was real tight with them. Like, out of anybody. I was on the road. I, I, me and Jeezy tight. Me and 2 Chainz tight. Me and Future tight. But I'm saying, I was Jay Money and Lil Fat. Them my, them my niggas. Yeah. So, what I'm saying is this what happened. Three days before that, Jay Money had got shot nine times. Wow. So, everything already turned up, like, in a way where... You on edge. So I was fucked up. Yeah. I was fucked up. So, yeah, I was fucked up. You Man. feel me? Yeah. I, like I said, these are these are the stories that nobody won't know. That's why I love podcasting because you, you get to hear the, the, the in-depthness of what goes mm -hmm. on behind the scene with each individual that we interview. You know what I'm saying? So I just love that. And then people get to see that y'all real people. You and, know what I mean? And this some rap shit. Yeah, like them my people, but this some rap shit. Yeah, I'm from Little Rock. I got real blood homies dying too at that time. Yeah, yeah. I got some real street shit. Grandma dying at that time. Mm -hmm. Some gutter shit going on too at that time. Like it was shootouts. My brother had just got robbed by one of my close friends. I want to kill him. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like at that time, like that's what it was going on. Like in my mind, you so feel me? But on the edge, yeah, bro. it was. So how did you deal with all of that? Yeah, how did you make it? How did you deal with all of that? Because a lot of people. When they're attacked, would have crashed out, would have went and done something stupid. So how would you? How, how did you I did, make it? Here? I did. I did shit stupid. I did all type of shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like I crashed out. I did the most. But but you still here? Yeah, shit. That's why I tell folks I don't trip about being the boss. Talk to OG. You can call me Unc. Everything. Yeah. Hell yeah. All this gangster, gangster shit I've been through, bro. I be like, hell yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, over here. So well, shit. I just know is that, that why you, you want know, to turn around and now motivate people through what you do? No, hell no. I don't even be tripping about just motivating people. I ain't, I don't know motivation shit. I'm saying that I like that part of the game, mm -hmm. motivation. I like that my shit inspiring. Inspiring. You feel right. me? Like, I'm glad it ain't that what it was. Go to right. TV, fuck them. You heard me? You see what I'm saying? He took my shit from some shit that was going to be, couldn't play on TV, some shit that was just, me some gutter gang shit at the you know right. some gangster shit gutter TV fuck them you heard me yeah. that shit was gangster the real gangster but you feel me so I was like I'm that's what I'm saying about it I was glad that it turned, it turned to some something positive, positive like man. that you feel me man. like and, and, and it's no like, elevation it's like yeah it's evolution like it, mm -hmm. th that that makes sense but it don't happen for everybody right. and 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 what you say and what what's coming from like your drops and everything it becomes you that's something Darrow and me talked mm -hmm. about when he was on here he he made ice cream paint job and he he was cool with that because he knew that the things that he said would become him. Mm. If you speak certain things and you get with certain energy, that's the type of stuff that's pretty much that you gonna back. crash out into. Yeah, you gonna sure. do those things sure, that you speak. Sure. Tupac was one of the sure. coldest ones that we seen that what he said became who he was, you know, from the cradle to the grave and all this different music that was going on. It ended up being something that pretty much uh, it came, became who he was right. until his demise. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so for sure. this, that's real, man. And that, and that shit go like that. You know, you got to understand like this. I like the, and not, not even like to think, but I know for sure that I'm like the first that was on the camera tip. So when I say that, I mean like recording actual situations like how this shit is going on right now. I see and, that. And I'm saying that like, so you got to, I know this part of it. I know that. See, I learned this. 
when I picked up the camera, I had stopped rapping. So okay. so this is what I learned. I had learned like, oh, I'm sitting back, I'm smoking with my partner Coop, and I'm like, oh shit, Coop, I can't express myself no more like I used to. You know, I used to let my shit go through the lyrics, and then he was like, you know, he from the bay, he like, gotta man, you know, you still do, you you be talking hella shit on the camera, and I was like, damn, you right. Damn, that's what it is. See, we don't realize this shit. We rappers. We get to talk our shit and relieve our stress that that's we right. would on the track, on these, on this right here. Real on, the, are we still on the mic? You feel me? For We're real. still on the mic. You feel it this out. shit re releasing. This the shit I just said about Jay Money and Lil Fat. I would have put that in a song. Yeah, yeah. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That ain't no shit we talk about. No, you not feel at all. me? Not at all. So yeah, it's another you way to me? release, man, on the yeah. camera. Yeah. So so. So you, man, you've been around, I, I, I said say cheese a while ago, you've been around a long time, man. You've been doing this a long time and you built a foundation, man. How weird was it? Because we go to Vegas and everywhere and you know I started doing this mm -hmm. years ago before it was cool. Like yeah, I was, was recording cool. myself and niggas like, who he think he is? Got all these people recording yeah. him. I just was doing it because hell, I'm, I don't care nah, what people think. It was either, so, you want, you, either you was cocky or either you was lame. Feel yeah. me? Damn. So yeah. lame right. niggas had the cameras. So when I start, when I grabbed the camera, niggas was like, I was too gangster to be like, dude, lame. It was more or less like, shit, gutter got the camera. What's up, gutter? So this shit turned lit. And yeah. that's what shit I just thought of right now. That shit true. That's, that's what made niggas really start talking about it. You feel me? And yeah. then my name, my name, it was my name anyway. You Who feel gave me? you that name? That's just, that was my name. They gave me that name in high school. My name was DA. That was, you know what I'm saying? My initials mm -hmm. and shit in high school, shit. It just started calling we you was gutter. that. We was, you know what I'm saying? We was gutter. that. And my partner name was South, so we ended up having a group called South and Gutter. Wow, wow! Yeah. I'm loving these stories, man. It's gonna yeah. be this yeah. gonna be yeah. one of the more ones, man. So. Make sure y'all hey like and subscribe to our channel, man. We got Gutter TV on For here sure. today, man. Sure. This thing up. So, but do you like the therapy through? these mics on a um, show like this compared like through a podcast rather than through rapping because when you rap you let it go and I know a lot of people use therapy use the rap as their therapy but when you release it you just release it you're not talking to somebody mm -hmm. you just release it but when mm -hmm. you're actually on a podcast you're talking back and forth to someone mm -hmm. which one do you like better I like I like talking to people you know what I'm saying I Me like talking too. I, I really that ain't nothing that I just I like talking to people that make sense. So yeah. Right. If it's yeah. making well, I sense, hope I'm I making talk, sense. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> Yo, you got the man in the hell. He really giving us the, the four, 411. Nigga, I'm finna get yeah. a Jeezy yeah. next, nigga. I'm yeah. going in. Okay, so how did you meet Jeezy? I met Jeezy through. Was, was this the old Jeezy with the snowman t-shirts? They were big and the nigga was, yeah, that nigga was going in too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mixtape Jeezy. I ain't gonna lie, what's cool about I love this shit is. Yeah, he was the the, the gangster Jeezy. I met the, the gang banger Jeezy. I met the Crip Jeezy. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, Jeezy, man. Yeah, like what? he was he 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 him snowman. Tropicana Tro Tro orange juice. Yeah, man. Yeah, all in. Yeah, all that, all in. that nigga was bad. Yeah, man. bro, peep this, bro. Fuck with me, tough. Like we on the tour bus. He ain't no nigga. Like he was, you know. That's why I say the the fame different now. Yeah, you feel me. These niggas be thinking they famous and they don't really be famous. For real. They just be known or something, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But saying that to say, Snow used to, on the tour bus, he wouldn't even used to come out to the front. He would just stay in the back type shit. But when he come out, it's like a movie. Like, kick even to us, the homies, it's like a movie. That like, that nigga, kicking it. That nigga had that, he had that star power. Hell yeah, yeah. So when yeah. he come in, you know already, oh, he in here. Yo, but I met him, though, through Carbon 15. What's crazy, Carbon 15 just text me. And look, I want you to read what he said. Peep this. What he said? crazy. Yeah, true story. Man, I love real, real Carbon time. 15. What Carbon, Carbon 15? 15 said, last one. Yo. Bro, I'm in Dallas. If you're not out here, can you link me with somebody to, to get... Right, yeah, man. <laughs> that, that, that nigga know you gonna get it right. Yeah, and that just show you though. I told you this was like 2010. 
You have, no, so what I'm real showing relationship. you that show you that this shit mm. stick. Yeah, because it was, it was it was real. You yeah, know what I mean? It, you're a real one. He knows yeah, you're a real yeah, one. Yeah, and that's no, respect, this shit bro. Stick. Like, like I said, he linked me with Jeezy. You feel me? Yeah. He didn't have to do that at that time. They was up. They was already gone. Ooh, they was up. Yeah, yeah. That was after the this BMF like this, this this thug motivation. Yeah, yeah. This Ooh. this this Ooh. this this. They this. got you at the. That's the peak, nigga. Yeah, this right after Trapper dies and that's all the peak. that shit. That's the peak. This the, yeah. This thug yeah. motivation, and then the th then I say thug motivation. Uh, well, he did a couple tapes in between, but I say the thug motivation one hundred and three. In the the real talk uh, mixtape, the Gangsta Grills, a couple of them was like the ones that I was all the way involved. Did in. you what did you what did you take from Jesus? Something that he done in business or something he done that really really is something that you was like that's that's dope. You know what I mean? How how he how he was moving? How he was moving? Because I was I was around everybody. Okay, but nobody moved like snow. What made it different? You weren't gonna be able to touch him. He made it to where you couldn't get to. And him. I love that, cause that's wow. how I like move. I love yeah. that shit. Like yeah. he made it where you weren't gonna be. Like I, everybody else, you can subject to walk up to him and shake him up, yeah. or walk up on him like how the homie walked up on Nip, R. Yeah. R. P. Nip. Yeah, like how yeah. he was posted. Yeah, that shit have never happened to somebody like a Jeezy. He on he moved like real different. Yeah. So it was like when I used to see it, like I'm his I'm his guy. That at, at that moment I'm his guy too. So. I'm in the mix, so me seeing how how we move, that shit gangsta. Why that nigga wow. don't play? You ain't finna no be able to walk up on him and shake his hand or nothing. Hell None of nah. that. None Man, of that. You get beat the fuck down. Uh, well, you say that. Well, you have to be on a certain level to walk nah, by. Listen, if you're on a level, you listen, can walk by him. Cause man, at the awards show, listen. I remember him and Rick Ross having a little Man, bit. Man, all right, look, but and I'm saying that probably cause they wanted to. Oh damn. They wanted to. I don't know. No, <laughs> like he don't, he no, don't move like I don't that. Know, but he I'm don't just, move like that. I'm just though. saying. You see, see what I'm saying? He, he, don't, don't he already. Like so if he went by you, it's because he wanted to go you by see, you. See, he don't move like that. That's dope. That nigga respect, gangster, boy. Respect, that nigga man. Tough. I always loved his music, man. Just a dope individual. Me too. That's that what nigga was, Correll, that was dog. cool. That nigga, man. That nigga said, uh, "I used to hit the kitchen lights, and that was." Cockroaches, Cockroaches everywhere. everywhere. Now I hit the kitchen like marble flows. Now there's marble everywhere. flows everywhere. Yeah. That was me right there. Yeah. So I knew. I, I said, now me and Jesus relate. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The roaches was there. Now the marble flows. I really didn't ever make it just to the marble. But we had laminate. <laughs> yeah, nigga, we had laminate. You could. It looked like marble flows if you shine the light on them, right? Sure. <laughs> But no, just just man, like like you dealt with a lot of people. You said that Boosie had gotten locked up when you had started to deal with uh, with Fat and Lil Fat and all of those guys. Did you ever build a relationship with Boosie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had already met Boosie like before that, back in the day. Yeah. Oh, How did you guys meet? My cousin, my my cousin. I got a crip cousin in, in Arkansas that used to book shows. Okay. He just had money and used to book shows, and uh, he brought. He used to bring Boosie, mm. but he, I was young nigga. You know, I'm probably eighteen or something at this time, and he used to tell me about Boosie. But I used to be like, he like, he used to be like, cause y'all rap shit, y'all need to link with this little nigga that I'm fucking with. And I used to be like, man, you know, at that time, nigga, I wasn't, I wasn't on none of that type of linking with niggas and all of that. So he uh. He he brought him one time and shit. I, I met with him and shit. And he was a solid little young dude. That's wow, funny. that's dope. That and, and and how much you know, God, man. You know, I'm a God fearing man. I ain't gonna lie to you. The steps of a good man, all about the Lord and all that good stuff. I just know, man, when you walking in purpose, you just never know what's gonna happen. But you know that it's all really much. It's, it's pretty much pre planned to me. Yeah. That's the way I think. I yeah. feel like you walking in purpose. You know what I mean? Yeah. The things yeah. you're doing is things that's already it's written. I already feel like things been wrote out for you and I in life. I really believe that. So yeah. when you walk through those doors, those doors already been sitting there waiting on you to walk through them. That's and nobody awesome. else couldn't walk through that door like you walk through that's it. Awesome. So that's why Gutter TV is different. Gutter TV is one that pretty much paid the way for a lot of young brothers, a lot of young sisters. Uh, just the way that you move, the management, the way that you've been dealing with the artists and mm -hmm, all that stuff, mm -hmm. the, the way that now that you peaked on 
basically you figured it out. I ask niggas all the time, even Sean Cotton when he was on here, you know, cause I had to take it to the next level. Now I gotta learn how to deal with artists. I gotta learn not only, see because my level at first was just, we doing pictures and all that and we doing visuals and all that. But now after I've been in it so many years, now I gotta create a wave that's even on a higher level, yeah. getting deals, basically doing yeah, yeah, things yeah, that yeah, basically yeah, yeah. help artists to go to the next level as long as they going with me so we can all <laughs> eat together, nigga. We eating together. Uh, you are not gonna take this plate and just run off with it. You know, you know what I'm you saying? Know, you know, it's, it's that's some shit that you just gotta work out before it starts. Yeah, you, you gotta me? gotta be yeah. built like that, right? Yeah, you just gotta work it out for a start. Cause like one of my industry partners, one of my mentors, I would say, taught me shit. They all gonna flip. You know what I mean? So man, you just so said if, something. If you if you know that. You, you you'll treat the situation a little better. It'll go. It'll feel a little better. It'll be all right. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So give me give me uh, the uh, the the two chain story because you mentioned him a while ago. Two I'm chain. getting all these stories like how you link because two chain to me the old two chains a little different than the new well, two, this chain. Wasn't two chain. Me, me and the two chain right there. That's when the you see I this had that I had that true on right there. I had a damn true on over there. I was cock out a little bit and he stopped. We were like man. He was like man. We got to take a picture because I had paid like by seven. Okay. Yeah. yeah I had yeah, paid for yeah. that. I had I had I was selling it in my store. I've been here 15 years. We actually had about four stores at that time. Mm -hmm. I was killing, but I had the brand, nigga. I had the damn account. I was wearing True because I was selling True, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no, nah, you <laughs> so, killed me. So he basically said, like, man, we got to take a picture because, nigga, you wearing that True. He had the album out during that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I had that nigga. He was like, he was crunk when he seen me because I was coming with that real. Yeah, you know what I'm nah, saying? So yeah. how did you guys link up? Uh, I link with Titty. Titty boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I, what's right. that other little nigga? I was with him the other week. Remember we was in Atlanta. That little black nigga with the bald head came in, and he was with his partner. Yeah. What's that nigga name? The little sharp bald dollar, head dollar, nigga. Dollar. That's him. Yeah, I was dollar. with the nigga. I'm out trying to get the nigga on the mic. He wouldn't do nothing because, man, I don't know. For dollar, man, I feel like two chains blew up so much that he kind of like can't figure it out. That's just my opinion, nigga. I ain't no industry nigga. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he just kind of. Can figure out how to fit. He like I'm like nigga, you dope. I'm I'm that nigga gonna tell you, nigga. You need to get on this mic because everybody looking for you. Now where you been? And I'm like that. And he was like, Nah, I can't do it. But I do it next time. You know, I nigga gonna brush it off. So I I, I did other artists that mm -hmm. day, but just being in the room with him and bringing that whole era back to my head. But the, the duffel bag boy and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them yeah. niggas was really fly at that I time really too. I don't know how I just really got with t uh, two chain. I mean, I really know. That I know that like all right, I used to my partner booked him to come oh, to Arkansas. Y'all niggas had that money, man. Yeah, so he oh, oh y'all knew how to deal with that money. Yeah, so he came to Arkansas, got him to come. And you know when niggas come, they they fucking with me. Yeah. So yeah. So it was like that. It was kind of a situation like that. No, uh good. just the fact that you basically, you know, got to meet all these different people. Who was the most extraordinary person that you met? that basically, you know, you, you seen their potential and they ended up where you thought they was going to be? I mean, all of them. But now I just sprung up that went and you you didn't, you you know, it just happened fast. And you're like, damn, that nigga went all the mm -hmm. way. You could see it from day one. Yeah, I always pick the ones, man. Yeah, I'm bringing in everybody now. We for the talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always pick the ones, though, bro. You did? Like, yeah, Shit. like, it don't matter who I'm right. Like, I picked the ones, so, like, they all was dope. Yeah, they all made it, made it big. They all gonna wow. make it big. They still making it big. Like this shit ain't stopped. Yeah, man. So, hey, man. And what's your name again? I gotta get it right. Gooby. Gooby is in the building, man. Bobo Luciano done stepped in, man. Yes, Bobo Luciano is one of them, one of them guys. If, if you don't know him, it, this was yeah. Pimp C best friend. Yeah. One of the one of them ones, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. so, we come with with just just trying to set out how this. You know, we stick our chest out, nigga. We we real men having real conversation around <laughs> nah, this thing. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So man, I like to just push the narrative, man, because so many people like to hear the engagement between multiple people because it sometimes stuff comes out. Yeah. That that it wouldn't normally come out and you got that radio background too you, yes, you love being behind that dang mic I, I used to yeah I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah so man so uh man when, when he was telling the story about Boosie I know P 
Pimp C uh, dealt with, with, with those yes. guys that he was talking about. Yeah, yeah. And you guys had ongoing conversations all the time. Uh, not about specifically that, but yeah. you knew he was down there in, in Baton mm -hmm, Rouge mm -hmm. or, or, or just dealing with those guys. What kind of memories came back when we was having these conversations? Man, I was just... I want to think about the memory. I was just listening to the man's story. Yeah, yeah it's dope, was, man. He's got a good story. Man, he dope. He That's dope. A, people always ask, you know, how do certain people get in certain situations? And I heard him say, nothing but God. Yeah, yeah. That's how my life was. People yeah. always ask me, how did I get here? How did I get here? How did I get here? I'm, I was just living my life. Yeah, that's you it. Know what I mean? just lived my life. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and I and I was, I, I kind of had I already knew that. I just need to. All right, look. I had a saying when I was in Atlanta. I used to say this that I had to. All right, look, Pete. This is true. All right, Pete. I'm listening to. You. I went to this video shoot. My mama was in Atlanta at this time. And she she still there. She stayed there, but she she gave me a she gave me a ride. I needed a ride to this video shoot. It's Soldier Boy. It's Gucci Man. It's Shawty Low. I go to the video shoot, and I don't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? Only person I know at this time is Walker Flocker, and I know Frenchie. Okay. I I done met Gucci a couple times, but I wouldn't say we tight at that time. All right. I go to the video shoot. And shit, I had, I, ain't, I I didn't do everything that I needed to do. Put it like that. Okay. I'm gonna just cut the short story short. I ended up getting back to to the to my uh, mom around my mama, right? And I told, I'm like, damn, I should have, I should have um told Gucci to do this. You know what I'm saying? I had paid a cameraman to pull up and all this. Oh. She was like, all right. She said, nigga, you could be a shoulda, coulda, woulda, all you want a nigga, because you know my mama gutter. That's her yeah, name, yeah. mama gutter. She's like, she like. All right, nigga, you go round, nigga. Nigga, I took you all the way out there, nigga. You you should have, nigga. Why you ain't do your shit type yeah, shit? Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, mama. I'm like, damn. Like, so I said, all right, I, that's it. That's like one of the moments too. Like, yeah. that's one of the ones that hit me, and I'm like, all right, she right. It'll never happen again. It'll never happen again. Yeah. So yeah. so when I get back to my saying was when I was in Atlanta, I had I used to say to myself like, so say like if I see somebody like Rocco or something, right? And me and Rocco type, you know what I mean? But say I see somebody like Rocco at that time, and I'm young, I'm 21 or something, but I'd be like, I'm sitting down smoking, chilling or whatever, but I'd say, hey man, quit playing with yourself. You from Little Rock, you a gangster, you a blood, you just a street nigga. Man, you don't see these type niggas, go holler bro. Yeah. I gotta check myself and tell myself that. Yeah. And I go holler at them. This ain't, it was never no groupie shit, no nothing, cause I, at the same time I'm a gangster. So I'm saying it just more or less like, let me holler at niggas just to see what niggas on. Like, what's up, bro? What you on? What you doing? I see what you doing. Like, need to get your number, nigga. I uh, pull up, whatever. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That's how that. Because I had to tell myself that because in my in my city in Little Rock, I'm on. I'm not seeing niggas. Niggas is not out. Yeah. So I had to check myself. Like, if I'm gonna be here, go on fuck with people. No, yeah. that's dope. You baby. feel me? That, so that. that was more or less like. You know, reaching out. I like, know the feeling you had. It was like, you know. He was there being a gangster. He had to come out that gangster closet. Had to. Yeah, I know what you I know that feeling. Had to. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. had you yeah. gotta open up and go and fuck. It took with a long time people. for me to do that too, E. Yeah, it took oh, a while. Oh my God. Yeah, because I'd be around people just in the cut. Yeah. Just sitting there. Yeah. Long time. And I, I know that feeling. I can relate. And to then when and then when you leave, you like, damn, I should have fucked with Boy, bro a little stronger. Yeah, that, that is, <laughs> hey, that is Drake. Damn, I'm tripping. Yep. Yeah. What was the situation you know like that? Saying, that hit you like, like, come on, Robin. I mean, the people I've been around. I'm like, give me an instance. Shit. But, I mean, I can tell you about just one not too long ago because it can it can always happen at any time. Yeah. I mean, just at the rodeo. Okay. Been around Jay Prince. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm hollering at everybody. 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 I get around Jay Prince. They, DJ Bird called. Uh, he saw Jay Prince, and Jay Prince saw DJ Bird. They lock eyes, and he shoots straight over there to Bird. Me and Bird standing right next to each other. And I'm like, "You ain't take advantage of it." First time in my life I ever did that right there. You froze. I feel like I, I shook his hand just, though. He, it, I shook his hand. You, know, you he, shook his he, hand. He, but shook his hand. He, should, he thought about things he should have did though. After the fact. You know what I mean? For After sure. the fact. For I sure. get it. I yes. get it. So I it, it, did it the other day at the barbershop. I it would be like if I meet Matt Prince. Baby was pulling up. Okay. He jumped when he was out the car. I told my daughter, I said, man, stop the car, man. I jumped out. 
And I went over and I hollered at him. No, nah, you did right. You, you did, did the right thing. Right. You with, did right. Because, yeah. you know, yeah. niggas got to go with they move. You niggas got to quit baby. thinking shit is just some groupie shit or some dick rides. Yeah. 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 Man, you got to know, like, I, I ain't no mechanic. I ain't no doctor. I'm trying to be in this entertainment. Let me fuck with entertainers. No, like, that's right. Let me stop yeah. playing. No, that's when real. I sell weed, I want to fuck with niggas that buy, buy weed. weed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like, so true, man. Shit, so, like, hey, man. So, like, like you guys, man, like I said, man, to... What what did you do different as you as years went on with, with Gutter TV? Because you got a brand, you know what I mean. Yeah. This is a brand. This is a world known, uh, uh, definitely a United States thing. Not but it's sure. in other different countries Not too because sure. you're on that internet. Not so at sure. the end of the day, Worldwide. what have you done uh, lately? What have you done for me lately? What have you done lately to make Gutter TV uh, be able to, to you know stick around? to stick around? Stick around. Yeah, I mean, I just was behind so many of the new youngsters that came up. So say like. After um, so let's go. I can go to 2013. I had doing start doing like a lot of Baton Rouge artists. You know what I mean? Like I just been behind the scene, putting niggas in situations, putting a lot of shit together. Like and then like staying relevant ain't never been an issue for me. You know, okay. it's kind of more or less like people don't get it, but staying relevant really just still working. People that ain't relevant, they ain't really doing they nothing. Quit. That's the thing. They, they really sitting down sense. somewhere. Yeah. When they money went low, they quit. Yeah. Mm. And I like what... See, because people be sad about that. You got to understand, a lot of people that had millions, had hundreds of thousands, hundreds of, th hundreds of thousands, and then when your money go low, they feel so embarrassed to keep trying to hustle. Man, you got to keep going. You got to understand, listen, I know so many... Old millionaires that was millionaires, mm. niggas that still millionaires. The thing about money is this. Once you get to playing with the millions and the hundreds of thousands, this shit don't stop. We keep going. If you if you know how to hustle, you're going to keep playing with the same amount of money, yeah, man. Yeah. It's going to still keep coming around. You just got to stay active. I agree with that. that. Well, you you know what I'm another thing that kept gutter relevance was the streets. If you pay yeah, attention for sure. For sure. to all the niggas that's still having to run in this rap shit, is real street niggas. You know, like Tip, Boosie, Rick Ross, Jeezy. Nah, the niggas right. never you fell right. off because the streets... When you got the streets and the streets embrace you and you raising these kids, like when niggas, niggas yep. like me, I grew up to Boosie and Webby and all that shit, they can't fall off, they can't lose. You know what I'm saying? Cause nah, they got the right. streets. Right. No, the, nah, streets the streets ain't streets, falling off. The streets, you feel me? Yeah, right. as the streets don't fall off, you ain't gonna fall off. Nah, that's the main thing right though. Nah, he yeah. right though, it's nah, the streets. That. Like it everywhere like I go. It ain't like your artists, you know? Nah, no. Every time the new artists drop, he gonna be there. No bullshit, yeah, everywhere yeah. I go. And it's yeah. like, I keep doing it, so say like the finesse two times, and, and say like 20, I had a hell of a year, 2016, 2017, I had Sancho, the, one of the South Twins, yeah. um, Issa, I shot it at that time, had finesse two times from Memphis, like, I, I then I started with Deal and King Deal and Wooda, like they did real good, and then it's like, you know, like I had so many different little artists that was, and then I was the, the young Dolph, you know what I'm saying? Around that same time, Key Glock it just had started. Damn, Key you Glock. feel That's me? My guy right like, there, like the I was in that. I'm still in. The, I was still in that mix. Yeah. So yeah. say like when Key Glock came, Dolph, Dolph them called me. Dolph like, hey, girl, I need you to come fuck with my young nigga. He finna go. Yeah. I talked to Daddy O. Daddy O like, pull up. We in Memphis. That this boop 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 boop. Pull up. Meet Key Glock, young nigga. I ain't got no songs out of nothing really like that. He probably got like a couple songs, but he fresh. You yeah. feel me? But they like he finna go. And shit, I could feel his energy though. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Yeah. With Dolph and you knowing each other, I don't know how you guys connected, but I'm pretty I tell sure. You, Dolph got give, a cold give me story. give me that cold story then because Dolph that's a serious one because R.I.P. the Dolph man, that was one I was a big Dolph fan. She probably got sick of me playing that stuff here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know but Key Glock, that's my nigga. Like, yeah. you make, you no, make I never got to meet him, but mm. I just loved, yeah. I loved. Give me that story, baby. Yeah. yeah. Dolph Hart. I was a fan yeah. too, bro. You was? Oh, my God. But I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I was more of a Key Glock fan. I don't know what that is. Yeah. yeah. But I just didn't know, baby. Because he liked the, he liked I, the newer I, version of I just, I just, he, he, when I heard, I'd already heard Dolph, but when Key Glock came on the scene, I was like, this nigga right here, the one. And I'm like, nigga, I'm too old for this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now you just love music. <laughs> you just love music. I love the way that he was rapping, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, um, but to give me the Dolph story first. I, uh, Dolph, Dolph. All right, I, um, I'm coming from, at this time, I used to travel back from Atlanta to Lil Rock okay. all the time. Lil Rock, Atlanta, Lil Rock, Lil Rock, Atlanta, Lil Rock. You feel me? And 
in between is is in between is is Memphis. You feel yeah. me? So boom. Every time that I'm going to every time I'm I, I put it like this, I'm going so much I keep the same route. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. If niggas travel, they know what I'm saying. I know what so you're talking about. I stopped at the same gas stations. I did yeah. the same shit because yeah. I'm on the same. It's a seven, eight hour ride. Yeah. So, boom. When I get to Memphis this time, I got some smoke on me. You know what I'm saying? Because at this time, Atlanta got this this shit called Black Kush. It's like black. It's some shit that's strong. You feel yeah. me? It, 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 you know what I mean? It, it, and I, I got some smoke on me. So, I get to the my loves gas station that I stop at on Lamar Boulevard in Atlanta. I mean in Memphis. In Memphis, right? And I'm coming. I, I, you know me. I'm young at this time too, so I'm thugging. You know what I'm saying? I hop out the car. I'm bumping music and shit. Door swing open. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't doing no. I had just started smoking right then. See, cause my thing was if I'm a ride with weed, I can't smoke the whole eight hours. From Memphis to Little Rock is two hours. So I'm like, I can smoke from Memphis to Little Rock. I'll take that two hour risk. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna smoke the whole time. Young yeah. niggas know that. You feel me? You ain't give them that sometimes game. Sometimes you gotta yeah. wait. You feel yeah. me? Like sometimes you can't smoke it all. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. But I right, so saying that to say, boom, I had started smoking. I'm in Memphis, shit. I done lit that motherfucker. Pull at the gas station, I'm bumping. I walk in the gas station. When I walk in, I, I walk past a car, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a black uh Cadillac. I walk past the car. I, I I come back out, young the nigga like I come out the window like, hey nigga what you smoking, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like I'm like nigga that's Damn, that strong, you, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this that this that real you real. Like I sounded nigga. like nigga. Oh man, the nigga said this. Oh no lie, that nigga said what you smoke. So I'm like nigga don't smoke this that that shit. I'm like but I got it hid in my car. You gotta hide it. So I don't want to get it. You know when you yeah. hide it, this shit hard to put back. I don't. So I said, damn, man. This nigga just seemed like a player, though. Like, I'm like, this nigga seemed like a player, man. Fuck it. So I get the smoke. I, I, I show bro the smoke. Bro, like, man, let me buy this shit. You know what I'm saying? I say, man, I really got to take that shit home. Man, my brother, my brother won't. I, I got to go. Uh, I need this. This what I'm smoking. You feel me? My personal stance. Man, come on, man. The nigga said, let me buy this shit. The nigga was so cool and so player. I, I, I sold it to him and just, you know, that's just, I, that's it. That's how I met Dolph. That's a real story, how I met that's Dolph. But at the, the same love. time, I'm saying it to say, nigga handed me a flyer and a CD. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to check you out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm in Atlanta. I'm doing my shit. Da, 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 da. He like, hey, I'm going to shoot a video with Pure Passion. Pull up on me if you got time. So I'm like, damn, I really ain't got time. But I'm finna holler at my partner in Memphis. So I say, fuck it, I'm gonna go holler at my nigga in Memphis. I'm gonna let him hear the CD. If my nigga fucking with it, I'm we gonna pull up. When I pull over there, my nigga say, hell nah, dude, trash. When I play the song, you feel me? Be but way. I understood that because Dolph shit sounded real unorthodox oh, yeah, at did. that time. Yeah, you feel me? This like high class street music or something like that. But long story short, I believed in it. I'm like, man, this nigga. I met this nigga. This nigga. He's solid, nigga. I pull up to the Pure Passion, link with him. Just he he just just G. Feel me? After that, we just stayed in contact. It just Always he had something going. He dropped South Memphis Kingpin. He like, hey, I'm finna drop my CD. I got a release party. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, uh, I'm here. I'm finna do. The, you know, he just started hitting me, and that shit just kept going. You wow. know what you should have just said. Real recognize real. Real recognize. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm talking about? For sure. That's, That's what, what kind that of situation was. That was, a real was. Show. God put you. You right can't there. explain that. You can't explain that. You can't yeah. even explain that at all. And and yeah. and so and Shout I got out to pure passion. I, I, yeah, I got to go. Yeah, yeah I got to go back. <laughs> I got to go back <laughs> into it a little bit. Just the day when Dolph was was uh, murdered. Um, mm -hmm. How was that for you hearing that, knowing and, and having a relationship with him? That was one of them days too. I was fucked up because you know I was just with him though. Like mm. me and Dolph had got sued. Okay. And Key Glock. Me, Dolph, and Key Glock got sued. Together. Nobody know this. Cause this ain't nothing we never talked about. Wow. But I did see a blogger try to post it one day. But okay. they ain't have enough followers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I ain't like it or nothing. Yeah, I yeah. just said, hey, look, damn, somebody know. Cause they posted like the record. Like it say our real names and really? you know, like the the real fed Fair papers. Record, so they yeah. had, like, but yeah, we had got sued. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you, this is a cold story. Key Glock didn't even show up to trial, right? And, the, and the, the judge was hot. He kept saying Dolph. He kept telling Dolph. He was like, it's me, Dolph, and Daddy on court. 
You know what I'm saying? And and we had to pay lawyer big money for our lawyers. We got sued for a concert. Okay. Somebody said we didn't come to a concert in time. I was the host. They was performing, right? And they lied though. But what I learned was it really didn't matter. It's really about if you got enough money to really take niggas to court for real. And okay. he had enough money. You feel me? He was already a millionaire. He just took us to court because he felt disrespected. Yeah. Because I went off on him, though. I keep it real. I went off on him. But, and he felt disrespected, so he sued us. Boom. We get to court. Judge, like, I mean, I ain't going to lie. Y'all don't want to go to trial, trial, because y'all going to lose. Yeah. Me and Dolphin, that bitch, like, damn. We looking at each other the whole time because the dog because the, the judge was saying weird shit though. He was saying shit like, I know y'all wanna y'all ready to get up out of here and go pop some bottles and you know what I'm saying? He playing games. What city? This was a federal court in Little Rock in Arkansas. Oh. He playing games. Yeah, he was in there. He was like, I, I like to kick it. I just drink uh wine. I know y'all drink that hard liquor and champagne and wow. This was the judge saying, me and Dolph looking at each other, laughing like a motherfucker. We like, <laughs> like a trip. <laughs> yeah. Long story short, them folks make us pay sixty thousand dollars. Okay. Dolph real. Tell you why. My lawyer came to me first in court when the when when the judge came back in the room, cause the other dude said he gonna be in the other room cause he feel like we a threat, like we might hurt him. We was mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? This shit weird. Why are you acting like that? So boom. So when the judge come back in and say something, he like, y'all got an offer? Dolph look at me, he like, what you think? I'm like, oh, nigga, y'all niggas rich, for real. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got it. <laughs> hey, so look, look, though. The nigga say, Dolph real, though. That nigga say, hey, squash it. Tell him, tell him, tell him I'm going to give him 25000 that what Dolph said. He said, tell him I'm going to give him 25000 Judge was like, okay, okay. Mr. D he said, all right. Boom. So he went over there. He came back. He like, nope. But he said he don't want 25000 That's not enough. Me and Dolph was like, oh, that's bullshit. This nigga tripping. <laughs> now he ain't tripping. Yeah. You feel me? Because he lying out the gate. But all right. Long story short, they come to us and end up saying we got to pay $60,000. Dolph was like, Man, just give me whatever you got. I ain't doing no tripping, nigga. I'm gonna pay the risk. Wow. Mm -hmm. I say that. That's what I say. Wow. I ain't got to say. He said, yeah. give me whatever you got. I'm gonna pay the risk. Wow. And not even no, no. It wasn't no, you ain't got it. Because at, at this moment, too, I'm up to at this moment, too. Like, yeah. up, up. So it was more or less like, it, it was more or less like, we both could have paid it. But the way he came to me, he was like, they trying to sue me. You feel me? They just putting you in the mix because you booked it. Yeah. Feel yeah. me? He like, they suing me. So, nigga, look, if you want to put something on it, what you got on, you you could do whatever you want. Nigga, I ain't doing no tripping. And shit, I want to just get it over with anyway. So, shit. Mm, yeah. And that, that's yeah. A, that, that shows what type of character he had. But this happened two months, three months before he died. Wow. Like two months or something. Wow. So, it was more or less like when you say what happened, how I felt, yeah, I was fucked up. Not just because of that. I really knew, bro, too. That was from... That time Long at that time Love's gas Love, station yeah. was like 2012, 2013. Wow. Ooh. So y'all had built a crazy Yeah, that was a long time. That was 2012 or so. Yeah, that's a that's a Nine long years. Run, that's a long run. You feel me? And this guy so, he's, he's he's helping promote and do all cuz that's way he he definitely standing he was there in the from the beginning. Yeah, no, for sure. Man. I just I, and in in like all these people that was around that's around too like I knew all them them people too like the ones that still there like I still I knew still all them well. yeah, yeah, like. man that's dope man I just I appreciate that story too man but like he, he said, paid for he paid for my part Glock part cause it wasn't just me Key Glock had to pay too yeah. he paid for Key Glock part he paid for my part and uh, daddy yo. he paid for man, everybody's that, part that, that, that well he ain't paid the whole thing cause I paid you know what I'm saying yeah, and honestly see since we on here motherfuckers be talk. talking I had paid like this honest. I paid like seventy five hundred. Okay, yeah. y'all paid the risk. That's real. Damn, but, but that, I paid my lawyers too. Yeah, yeah. My lawyers, cause I had to get lawyered up. I had to get two lawyers at the time to get to do that case, wow. and they both charged probably like five thousand each. But just think about to do it, man. Case. Just besides all that, just the time spending with him, even during that. Time. Nah, that was great. Come that on, was great. Man. Yeah, and you, I got that shit in my phone. Oh, yeah. Like that's important, more oh, yeah. important than the money. Oh yeah, you know, the memories, the memories, the time. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Like I got this shit in my phone. I could show you like when we was actually in court. Like you feel me? Like texting I, each other and all that. Because the thing was we couldn't have our phone right. But right before it was time to go to court that morning, both our lawyers came together. He had a black lawyer from Memphis. They came to my lawyers and said, "We got some type of form where y'all can take y'all phones in." Because you know it's federal court. They don't let you do nothing yeah, in that bitch. Yeah. Like walking in there is mm -hmm. serious. It's serious, nigga. You gotta leave your kid damn near. <laughs> like I think you do gotta leave your kid. Yeah. Like you gotta leave everything. Like, yeah. but we gotta take our phone. So wow. I, I, I filmed a little bit. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. I'm thinking too. I'm in this bitch like I'm getting sued. I'm mad, but I'm like, so damn, you got I'm, I'm getting sued. Footage with you and Dolph yeah, I'm like, there. I'm getting sued with Dolph though. That's hard. So I, I, I filmed a little. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. That's what you'll never get back. That's yeah, dope, like, bro. I so, 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 so gutter TV. Are you ever gonna be? You good? Oh yeah. I'll okay. My man. Gutter oh, TV. Have you? Uh, do do you you ever think that you guys will do a, like a small documentary or something just on on you and your legacy and your brand? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want a book. Like I'm. Yeah, and a book. But, but I'm a, I'm a, right. I'm gonna wait on the book because what I told like I told my. I tell somebody like my 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 assistant or my my you know or my mama or some somebody that I can have long conversations with. Mm -hmm. I tell them something like, I gotta hit a real big big lick first, and then I write the book. And I mean, when I say big lick, I mean over a ten million dollar lick or something. You yeah. feel me? Then yeah. I write the book. You you have so many elements to to you you know far as. Now dealing with the artists, managing artists. I don't I don't had little Brooke on here, mm -hmm. uh, Sensei Molly. Mm -hmm. um, what I mean, I remember having Lil Brooke on here, and she was like dealing with Def Jam during the time when she was dealing with them that they didn't, they felt like they couldn't get certain things done in in certain ways. How hard is it to deal with managing uh, artists and they trying to do different things, and then you having to be in the midst of it, trying to help figure all that out? Well, you know, shit, it really was more or less me figuring it out and okay. then relaying them the, the message. message. Yeah. You know what I so mean? So how hard was it dealing with the labels? Well, to keep it real, it went hard. Like, I'm tight with Def Jam. They're my okay. people right now. Okay. And the people who signed us, but now not the... the not the the A and R that found us. I mean, I'm tight with him too, but I'm saying he, he relevant type yeah, shit. Yeah. But I'm saying... um. It, it really wasn't that hard. It was more or less like... They just ain't always come through. That's it. Okay. Labels don't always come through like they said. Like they say. Sometimes yeah. they say you have a great hour conversation with their ass, and they'll be saying, "How we finna shoot this and oh, do yeah. this? We gonna come down the? They like, hey, I'm gonna come down there, gutter. We gonna bring the bring the cameras. We gonna light the girls on fire. We gonna bring them to Texas. And we gonna bring MTV. Uh, and then Ooh. shit, they don't even come. None wow. of that shit happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you seen like, that too. Oh. You like, man, what y'all just was? Y'all was just hyping so, us so, up. Or some yeah. shit. I was gonna ask you about them jive moments too, like with with Pimp and them jive moments. Him and you, Bun B. I heard the album, nigga. I know it was some issues. It was some there. issues. So always. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Just dealing with the labels. How much frustration did you see Pimp and Bun, you know, go through for? From day one. From day one. From day one. Because yeah, he said one. when they signed the contract or something, Bun, I remember him saying oh, yeah, somebody told him they messed up right there. I think it was KRS One. Yeah, that's what it said, was. Did y'all sign yet? Damn. <laughs> you know. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what that mean? You uh, know yeah. what yeah, that nah, what that nah, mean? That's right. Man. I heard yeah. that story. It was like he was like when he walked out the door. As soon as, as they walked, walked out yeah, the door, it was like more or less hallway. like, Damn, y'all signed already? Yeah, cause damn. I'm, I'm coming in this bitch complaining really. Oh, I just damn. Signed. Yeah, I just, so I'm just, coming here to complain. I, oh yeah, bro. So how, how I, I gotta ask you this, uh, Gutter TV? Uh, really, just like when you think about like like the times that because you are OG in the game. Think about where people were originally when they first started signing the D three sixty deals. Uh, yeah, that's that courtroom. That's mm. Daddy O, Dolph. Yeah, y'all in there together. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy footage, man. This me and Dolph outside of the courtroom. Y'all out there chilling. Yeah, Art Street, Little Rock. He always recording too. Yeah, you yeah. gotta have this shit. Yep, yep. See, cause you know, it's something I learned back in the day. When I used to be around all my partners, see, Walker was my just my partner. Okay. He just my partner. We just gang bang together, just my partner. Like, that's my little homie. And at the time, she. I used to think about it like, damn, when I, cause, and you know, he with Gucci every day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So at that time, I'm around Gucci a lot too. So I tell my brother that shit at the crib. You know, my brother at the house, they doing their thing in the rock. They, they, you feel me? Yeah. <coughs> 
excuse me, I tell them about what I'm doing. And they'll be like, man, nigga, you ain't. You know, oh, yeah. Nigga, you ain't. Know, they don't care. Shit, nigga. It's like, regular either, life for you. Yeah, either either like they don't care or you ain't doing it for real. Like, that ain't what you doing. Because you got, like I said, Street Instagram nigga. shit wasn't going. Yeah. So people ain't. Yeah. Boom. So that's what I said that to say. I had used to realize then, like, man, if I'm with Gooby, if I'm with Waka or something, let me film some of this shit. I'm finna show these folks what the fuck I'm doing at the same time. Because you got to think. We sit around regular, normal people all day. Feel me? And we film them, too. Yeah. I'm talking about regular friends, regular people. Oh, yeah. So you got to think. Just like if you take a a, a, a a extravagant trip, right? You go to St. Thomas or one of them type good little places, right? You're going to be filming the beach and the shit. You know why? Because you got to realize who you around and what you're doing. No, and that's what it is. When y'all niggas sitting and y'all riding with these new little superstars and y'all around the little babies and the Cincy Mollies and the man, y'all better film that shit. These man. folks stars in the making. That's what the fuck you sitting around them playing for? That's so true. What is you sitting around them playing for? That's true. That's man, so I true. got shit right now from so many people that my son can sell or have or whatever. Some real shit. That's a legacy. Like yeah. when I sit around the NBA players or something, nigga, I make them niggas sign everything. What am I around this NBA nigga for when I ain't had this nigga sign some? But you a hustler. Nigga, you, but you I'm grew, saying. You grew into that. But niggas be sitting around thinking that they just dick riding if they ask a nigga for a picture or an autograph yeah. or anything. Yeah. They not even thinking I can sell this shit. And nowadays they got the NFTs and shit. Man, get you some shit that's one of a kind with some of these niggas. Quit acting off, get off your ass and quit, man, get on your hustle. Say that's gutter TV. Shit, y'all. for real. That's, hey, he's nigga, that real. Nigga, you got to quit playing with yourself. You got to be comfortable with who you is. Yeah, nigga, uh-huh. I'm comfortable. Nigga, I know I'm bigger star than damn than whoever I talk to. That's where I, I so I don't care. Yeah, I'm just talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I done made more moves. I ain't talking to you to like the yeah. the that because of that. I'm yeah. talking to you because we both on the same shit. Or I'm or I'm or I'm or, or I'm here. Around. Yeah, shit. Yeah, because I ain't under you never. Never. I don't give a damn who it is. And that's the way I am. Shout out to that boy Gutter TV for being like me, nigga. I'm like, <laughs> stop playing <laughs> for real. I don't give a damn who it is. Nigga, hey, nigga ain't like, intimidated by no moment. People. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just real people. They regular, just regular people. They put on their pants one foot at a time. Come I, on, I always thought like that. That's why you see everything like it is here. Cause I never see you know how I step. I step. I, it don't matter. And when I come in the room, I I've been in the room with Birdman was in the room and they still they were hollering at me. Me, me too. I, I me mean, too. I shut that thing down. Like, me too. They and like, I feel ooh, you. I said, damn, I must really be ooh, I'm Come that on, nigga. Man. I'm that nigga, <laughs> man. Stop playing. I'm that nigga, man. That's the way you gotta be. I'm that yeah. nigga. Because if you don't think it, who gonna think it? Yeah, you gotta think it, bro. Go be how you is in there. You in there, you got the same bottles that the rap other rap niggas got. You got the same jewelry. You got a better jewelry or whatever. Yeah, when I walk in the room, you gonna feel me. That's it. You gonna feel me? I don't give a fuck who you is. They gonna who the fuck is them little niggas over there? Who the fuck they doing? Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, and we doing our own thing. I <laughs> yeah. might send you a bottle, nigga. That, I got a picture tour, right around the corner, right there. Well, it was T.I. It was T.I. and all of them. It was, it was that, and Drummer Boy and all of them. And I, I came in <laughs> with my niggas, and we had on all white. The picture right around that corner. Yeah, we would. We just some niggas from Texas. Mm-hmm. But when we showed up, it wasn't an all white party. But we made it that. And when we showed, it was about 2018, 20. She remember this picture? I, it shot up all over the internet. But the niggas came, just started coming, trying to figure out who we were. Drummer Boy was one of the main niggas. Man, who y'all is, man? God dang, y'all shutting this whole down because of the way our energy was when we yeah, came in. Yeah. It shut the whole thing. And the next day, when we seen everybody at the event, we was in at the next day. They were like, "Damn, that's them niggas right there." Hey, but guess it what? Shut that whole down. But guess what, big dog? What was that? If you ain't got that, and that's cool. Feel me? Everybody, yeah. what, everybody ain't built like some that. Some people ain't no, got everybody that. Everybody ain't so, like that. And that's cool though. Just be regular. Cause be we regular. need we need them regular we motherfuckers. Need them regular like, like, like right. you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Like if you don't feel like you the star in the club, then you the regular person in the club. It don't matter You're who it is. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah. Then just be that person because we need them. And I fuck with them really harder than the other people that think they the stars. Well, they gonna support you harder. Well, they gonna support you harder. Yeah. So you know, so customers. Yeah. For sure. Man. Hey, man. So. Man, just just looking at everything that we've talked about today, man, you know, 
um, man, we, this Dallas, we in Dallas, Texas, really. And uh, when you think about the movement of the music and just all around right now, how do you feel about the music and where it's at? Like, is it is them hit records coming out? Uh, wh- where is music at right now? I ask you and you the same question. Is this, oh, yeah. hold on, is this for Dallas? No, no? this is just no, for everything. Oh, I want to know about Dallas. That'll be a good question. Well, we can talk about Dallas first, but I want to hear his overall. Yeah. That nigga know you, a lot. You said overall? No, nah, right now, let's talk about Dallas. Right, let's talk we about going, Dallas. We going overall next. All right, so. Dallas. Is what though? Like, is like, it, like the music, hip hop scene, scene. scene. What do you think? Dallas. Don't I feel hold like. Back. I feel like. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Yeah, the truth. I feel like. The devil. I feel like. All right, you know that 2017 when I was telling you finesse two times and all the other yeah. ones. Mm-hmm. I had like Trap Boy Freddy too. Like yeah. I was, I was, I was. You know, one of them ones. Like when I get a hold to you, we gonna work. Yeah. yeah. If not every week, every other week, yeah. me and you gonna be yeah, together. Trap boy and, and 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 Dolph had a relationship too. Yeah. So 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 Pete. So I felt like at that time Dallas too. I could feel the vibe of how it was going. It had a mean wave, like it was mean. And you know, I had just linked with the Go Yeah Yo and all that, so yeah. it was mean out here. But uh, as of right now, it's kind of like when you say mean, what you mean? It was raw, like this was could have been the next Atlanta type shit. Yeah, yeah, I seen, it. I felt. You it. Feel me? Like yeah. it was, it was, it was. It had next some to shit. pop. We were Ooh, bubbling. This motherfucker yeah. was going. It could have been the next Memphis or whatever the case yes. was. It was, it was there. And and then all of a sudden, I knew the dancing shit was gonna stop, right? Because yeah. that shit, I've been seeing that a long time. You feel me? Yeah. Like I done seen. Shit, I was I was right there with Swag Surfing. My partner signed him. I seen it. I was at the video shoot. I know them niggas personally. I know the song. You know everything about it. But I'm saying, I know the dance and shit. And it, it never stops. Lasts. It never it's, lasts. It stops. So I knew that part of it was going to stop. You feel me? Like, because it had like the J Money, the uh, 1040. He was going crazy with the people dancing and all the little kids out here mm-hmm, was dancing. Mm-hmm. Like 10K Cash, all them was yeah, out here. Yeah. But, I knew that was gonna slow down, but I knew the rap shit could keep going. The rap shit slowed down too. The da- dancing shit slowed down. Now Dallas just Dallas again. It even made the club slow down. See, cause I was just telling my little blood homie at the spot before I got here. I said, "Damn, any other time I used to come out here to Dallas, we'll be going out regardless tonight. It didn't yeah, matter if niggas yeah. was sick or a nigga didn't want to or not. Nigga, we finna go throw some money or something. Yeah. But now nigga come out here, shit, nigga like mm. I ain't trying to go to the club yeah. or if they trying to go, they like we got. Can we bring our Drake gutter? Can we bring our stick? <laughs> you know, niggas like I'm like, damn, this shit just didn't change real wow. quick. That, so uh, we have to get that back. That's my that's my take on Dallas right now. It's just wow. saying it's kind of like we need that. It ain't as it ain't as cool as it was getting. It was getting real cool out this bitch. You know what I mean? How you feel? <laughs> like, what you think, bro? They waiting on me. They waiting on you. <laughs> no you from Dallas? Shit. That's a you cold from Dallas. Shit. I'm from Flint, Michigan, but I've been here. Oh, for a my second. family from Flint. I had my flag around this. Yeah, that baby. Yeah. Flint, Michigan, uh, in the building, man. So you you feel like they're just waiting on you? They wave up. You see the you see the they wide open lane, like, right? Oh, they ready. Yeah, they ready. Oh. Wow, what do you think? Why you why you saying? I'm on it from the OG, bro. You know when I went to that, you to was that at rodeo. The, yeah, the rodeo. The rodeo made me just sit back and just think about that's the shit that got shot up. No no no, 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 no. He was with Bum Beanie at that, that rodeo. Oh, okay, Kiki okay, and all okay, 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 okay. Well, that rodeo was so big, man. And and like I, I told this other, I told this guy this the other day that no one. Bun told me this after the show. I think I talked to you. Yeah, yeah, you talked to me. Nobody on that show ever had a number one song. Ever. And you got to hear the lineup that was on that show. I mean. Millionaire. Millionaire. But they put 73,600 people in there. Fast forward to what we doing in Dallas two weeks ago. We have a deal where we got all our pretty much our our big stuff. Pookie Lucci. Uh, Who was that? Lil Ronnie. Lil Ronnie was there. Fat Fat Pimp was there. Bro, it's about 200 people in there, bro. In a place that hold over 1,000. There's no support from the city. There's no support from the fans. The artists don't have the grind that they should have. Some of them. The ones that's going to make the good music going to grind. Good music going to bubble up anyway. Don't you agree? agree? If you make a hit, it's undeniable. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I remember when a dude at my job told me about Trap. He said, man, I like this little thing over here, man, Trap. Trap Boy Freddy, listen to him. I said, okay, I'll listen to him. He talk about drugs too much, though, but I like him. So I listened to him, and one of the songs on there had Yellow Beezy on it. Mm-hmm. Listen to the shit, I said. 
I like this nigga's style. So I started gravitating toward Yellow Bees and shit. And his his style started being more something that I knew was more marketable. Not what's up, trap? That's my nigga. But I knew Yellow Beezy had something. Mm-hmm. It's undeniable. You and, know what and, I mean? But I, and that's how I felt about Trap on yes. my end. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Like, and Tra- I knew, stop, stop, stop I, knew I knew Yellow had some because he used to yeah. come around too. But I, I, I don't. With that time, I was fucking hard with Trap, and I still yeah. fuck with Trap tough right now. But it was that but song. I just knew, it was like, that one song. I knew he was. He dropped the right song. I knew, and then it was this though. I pull up on him though, bro, and he really over there hustling, bro. Like I'm saying, like he got CDs, he got T-shirts, he yeah. got yeah. like, bro. That was the old school hustle that I Them was used work. to. So this nigga Everybody really don't do that. No, this Everybody nigga was that. really hustling. So I'm like, man, this nigga go. It don't matter what a nigga say. This nigga right here gonna make it because yeah, nigga, yeah. he really rap hustling. Well, he still gonna make it. Yeah, niggas didn't know how to. It. Niggas didn't know how to. Ra- no. these niggas don't know how to rap hustle. Not up there. That nigga rap hustle. Not up here, man. Not, yeah, like that was a white collar city, man. We more corporate, man, and like down in Houston. Like I said it last time I was here. Them boys will roll up their sleeves, and they come from a harder struggle than what we came from. Bro, look, I sit over there at, at Trap Boy Spot, and I see him sit over there, and people call and be like, "Are you there?" And People will pull up, buy a CD for ten or twenty dollars. They'll buy a shirt or something too, and then leave. Boom! Somebody else will pull up. I'm like, damn, this nigga got a trap without selling drugs. He's yeah. selling rap, but he going hard. He rolling. Yeah, that nigga you. rolling. I know where you are. Like he I was rolling, think. nigga. Yeah. Like nigga, I was impressed, nigga. I was at this nigga here, gutter boy. That nigga wow. was hard fool. I already, like I said, I, I love the way he, way he hustled too. You know, I see yeah. it in the city. And, and he moved through stop. the city like a regular cat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like that. He, know, he, he don't act all superstars. Yeah. I, I seen yeah. travel. Well, well, he went to jail man. the other day. They had yeah, him on the ground. Him. But at the end, he was cutting up. He was yelling that shit. He was yelling on the ground. Bro, I told you about the time I was at work, I was at the car dealership. He come through the front door. Yeah. I said, let me holler at you. Come right over. Cool brother. Cool brother, man. Yeah, yeah. He was up there to get a part for a car. Over, over, uh, uh, yeah, he just, just regular re- cat, re- bro. Cat. Overall, though, with music, though, what, what, what you, what you, what was the question again? Just overall, how do you think music is looking on the whole, far as, uh, far as you know, like, uh, like, like uh, yeah. the hits, the, the way, the way the algorithm yeah. is going. Just basically, give me a breakdown of what you think about it because you've seen it from when it was. Totally, when it was Jeezy, and that 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 era was crazy. Was crazy. And then yep. even the Gucci era was crazy. Yep. These yep. eras was crazy, man. And then before compared them, to the, now, the ludicrous, the ludicrous era was crazy. Was the the Ti yeah, like, era oh, yeah. was crazy. What what do you think about where we at today with the way music I is know. moving? I think they it's ain't a talking little, about I th- shit. I think it's a little slow. Yeah, they ain't talking about shit. Everybody slow. want they want everybody want to kill each other and all that shit. Y'all ain't talking about shit. Damn, my buddy put some up. My buddy put something up the other day on Facebook trying to call it murder music. Yeah, oh, y'all, that shoot him up bang bang shit. That's what well, I, 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 I say this. It's, it's look, as long as if we can get us about 10 more ride waves, we'll be all right. Wow, you like that ride wave. Oh, right. he jamming. Uh, he, 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 he like the, well, the what young he What do you think about T-Rail? What do you think about the Red of the Sun? They all got kind of similar size styles. Yeah, and yeah, Murray, Murray, them Murray my, as well. Them my partners. I like I, All them niggas, I know them personally. Like, yeah. I knew the Reds when he was Debo. I'd been T-Rail. I've been knowing him before he even, like, damn near started. Like, okay. so I know them niggas personally, mm-hmm. personally. Like, T-Rail done been in my house, house. Like, that's, I know that's, him. A, that's a whole but, movement. But ride wave, though, like I said, if we can get us 10 more. Ride waves, uh, we'll be all right out here, and, and not just that type of sound. I'm talking about what he talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Like I ain't talking about just the, the sound. Thing. You talking about? I'm it. talking about what he talking about. Like pitch out. Yeah, like man, come on, man. But go to TV. I'm gonna break you all the way down, man. Give me my top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Number one. Damn. You gonna go like this? That's three. tough. That boy's right. three. What, what number one mean though? This my number, number one, one artist. Your number one artist. Wait a minute, though. Let me ask your question. Any genre too. I heard something on your show. What's that? Damn. And I'm gonna give you. I'm, I'm gonna make a suggestion. You better talk to that woman over there. We no, 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 no. Yeah, get him. No, no. It's this is that. Put your ears on. No, no. It's something about what you're doing right go ahead, now. Go ahead. The dude from um, the Gatekeeper List. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how he say he took Jay Prince and yeah. You ought to take Pac and Biggie out. 
No, no. They, they in their own zone, bro. I ain't taking them out. They in their own zone. I ain't zone. taking them out. I want to hear everybody's output. We want to keep them legacies going. If I'm taking anybody out, for me, I'm taking Pimp C out, because that's what it is for well, me. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's but we're not. We're giving everybody the opportunity to choose their number one of all time. So, all right. So, you said, <laughs> so look, you only got three? No, only got three. And Damn, I don't want no more. All right. Number I mean, one. Number one, Jay Z. Ooh. What? Of all time. That was all my time. Yeah, that was my that's the, that's the, that's the best one. rapper ever. Well, that's, that's that man's opinion. Let him go. I get, I get, that's I get that's it. the best get rapper it. ever. Number two. And he got a, his, I value his opinion. Dude. Number two. Tupac. Tupac. Okay. Tupac. Reason being, I listen to him right now. Yeah, I did. Too, I'm talking about like more than I listen to me. You, you know a whole lot oh, of yeah. shit. So, number, number three. Like, this means some all-time shit. Like, damn, that's a cold one. Like, I'm going to go Boosie. Boosie? <laughs> yeah, man, that boy mm. came in sliding Boosie. I'm going to go Boosie. So that's one, Boosie. two, and three, man. Jay-Z, two, Tupac, and Boosie, man. Okay. That's my boy Gutter TV's top three, man. Yep. It went down. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, look, because top three is hard. I know. Because, you know, I think, look, it should, everything should be top five. No, no, because, no. Because of the basketball, you no, know, like everybody do top. Five. <laughs> no, no, but no, no, Ice no. Cube do the three. Yeah, like, Ice Cube do three. Oh yeah, Ice Cube do. He do three. You know, the no, nah, that's cool though. That's like three. <laughs> no, nah, that's cool. Three of them though, because because five I have a nigga thinking Thank too much. Do, oh, yeah, man. Like that's but, cool. But hey, man, you on Boss Talk One One, man? It's your first time on, man. What do you think about it? You've been watching our moves, yeah. what we've been doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I had I like what y'all got going. Thank you. I like how you come. You know what I'm saying? I just seen. I seen um I had a drive here so yeah I seen like you had a uh uh the niggas on here arguing oh, and shit yeah, you we had, had the, a bunch the gang of bangers yeah, and shit yeah, on here arguing yeah. I'm so, gonna make it saucy I right. bring four niggas up to the table so, going so, down so I was like damn I like how how big, big dog handling that yeah, shit yeah, yeah, yeah cause yeah. at the end of the day what I peep was throughout anything that you got going on rather it's them or whoever you interviewing. You won't get in the mix. You kind of let us run off at our lips, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And then if you got something to chime in, you chime in. Yeah, yeah. But you pretty much let niggas say whatever they want to say, though. Yeah, yeah. You ain't forcing this shit up out of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But I fuck with it. Overall, y'all got a nice show. Thank you, man. Together, yeah, I mean a lot like, coming from you, I like man. how y'all feed off each other. I like how y'all got the camera set Thanks, up. Man. You know, like when you come in and see shit like this, that shit mean business. <laughs> yeah, so, that shit gonna be big. Let me, let me give you a... Uh, let me get let me get y'all like matter fact. <laughs> let me get y'all uh this this one this one game for y'all. And this ain't just for y'all, this for everybody. everybody yeah. You feel me? And everybody watching. I told my partner the other day, he D, he DJ. Okay. And he was like, um, bro, they 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 to get on me hard. And I, yeah. I was like, all right, look, one key thing, he was like, give me some advice. I said, one key thing I say is take your time. Take your time setting up, take your time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Pete, this will help too. If you know what I'm saying, I said, take your time setting up. I don't know how or who, where I learned it. I could have just learned this myself because I know a lot myself. But I learned that if you take time with the setup, people feel like the shit more realer. Feel me? Yes. Okay. So saying it to say, first setup could be just the banners and cameras and all that. That's the setup. But I'm talking about the setup. As of have a nigga sit down, give him water, give him drink, the experience, hook up cameras, tell people from the back, hey, hey, bring that. You probably don't even need that. But the setup, if you make this, like I told my partner when he's setting up his DJ shit, don't talk to nobody. He's like, what you mean? I was like, don't talk to nobody. Be mean at that moment. He like, damn. But it, he tried. He said he tried it, and he said, "Bro, they love me, bro, cause they know I'm about business." And then I use the analogy, cause I like using analogies. I said, "Bro, analogy for what I'm telling you is like when Steve Urkel used to pour in his machine. He used to say, not while I'm pouring. <laughs> yeah. You gotta make it serious, mm -hmm. and then people know it's serious, yeah. so they respect it every time. That's like if somebody say, "Don't wear shoes in my house." Every time you pull up to their house, you know you got to kick them bitches off. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like a start to be a, it's a thing like make it the setup big. Wow. That's why they do starting lineups. If you think about it, they oh, introduce yeah. the players in the line with the, it's a setup. You got to make it real. Now you paying attention. Psychological. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, so presentation. I like y'all set up. I like the presentation. That's I like all this. You walk in. That's what the record labels do. 
Oh yeah. You walk in Def Jam, they'll be like, "Welcome, Cincy, my Leo. Welcome, little Brooke. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. welcome, crazy. boss talk. Yeah. Welcome. You know it's what I'm crazy saying? Because like, we didn't get it from nobody, man. It's just when I did it, I just felt like I wanted to give y'all something, like the people mm-hmm. who've been working. Yeah. You know, we give out awards. I'm probably I didn't gave out probably 50 awards to different people. I mean, uh, from Carl Crawford to. Uh, man, everybody. You, we did a lot of different awards. You've seen the some Ro- of our shows. Yeah. The yep. Rose, yep. like, because he got platinum album. Nobody, you know, I want to recognize people mm. for the things that they done done. Like you, it's people like y'all that mm-hmm. I, I, I'm thinking like when I get him back. So if I ever call you back, please come because I'm really trying to show, pay, pay my, get my roses while y'all here. Okay. I gave Jock Taylor, who, you know, be with Dion M, Dion yep. Santa. Yep. You've been with the Cowboys since 97. Stuff like that. Like, I've given... I've given a lot of awards out, man, because you guys deserve it, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. For you yeah. to do the things that you've done, the things that you've accomplished, man, I'd be crazy to do something like this and not bless you because that because at the end of the day, it means so much. Mike Jones, I gave him one. He was the most, I said, I told him, I say, you, i never seen nobody, you know, put themselves out there, give people their number, pretty much, uh, you know, what did I call it, baby? What did I call that award? Well, he was I, I, it, it was no, it was no, it was about him the way that marketing he genius. marketing genius mm. because of the way he was marketing at the time. It messed with nah, me. No, that was when that I was looked deep. at that. Oh, I yeah. said, "Bro, ain't nobody <laughs> smart." Said, you know what that nigga <laughs> told me? Well, he said, me, "He said, ain't nobody, nobody <laughs> never listen." He said, "Ain't nobody never recognized me for that." What's so cold is too. I I called the number one time and talked to it him. It still works. Oh yeah, he said it's yeah, still on. He got it right now. He got it now. Right yeah, now, he said it's still oh, on. Damn, but I'm talking about back when back I was when a kid. It was going down. Like, I called him like probably in 06 or some shit. Like <laughs> he on 106 and that nigga answered. I was like, I ain't even know what to say to him. I was like, I probably said like one of them little kids or something. Like that. <laughs> hey, my God! <laughs> but, but, but to give him a like, like, like he was, he, he was, answered that bitch though. I was like, damn, that's hard. That's this dope. nigga answered that. He did that. Bit. I just seen. I didn't know he was hey, that I just nigga, seen, huh? man. I just seen I back. I just seen back then on 106, and this nigga answered. I'm like, damn, man, that's hard. Listen, man, when that's you think hard. about that, even the guy, I, that's one case because it's big. Yes. But think about the DJ that been DJing like uh, 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 K-Rock for 38 years and they K-Rock. never been recognized for it. Oh, that's and you real. seen that nigga standing here when we gave him that award and he yep. said, man, this is the first time anybody ever gave me anything. That's right. These are, that's that's what we do here. Because they say, they, they, they came real. in the door doing that. They tell, hey, the joke is what they tell people like K-Rock, you got a, uh, you got a uh, face for radio. Yeah, <laughs> you know that right? No, no bro. That's, 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 that's what they say to people on the radio. Yeah, yeah, you know, do because they. I'm just saying that's kind of like you know you never see them. You that's never what I'm see them. So but if it, the, it, DJs all throughout Dallas, I've done that with man and uh, Gator Man the other day. Yeah, I gave him award. Like it's certain ones, yeah. man, that you won't. You not. You never got your roses. I remember old boy Prince that did the stanky leg. That nigga stood right there. The one thing that nigga said when I gave him that award, he say, he say, man. Uh, he went back in his head. He said, on BET Awards, man, day 26, man, we was nominated for the award. He said, but he said, we didn't win. Day 26 won. But today I won on Boss Talk 101, and he put that award up. I said, boy, that's crazy. That's cold. Damn. I'm just telling you how, how I'm sitting back looking like, really? Like, but I just did it because I feel like it's something to recognize the people who've been grinding like this yeah. all this time. And they don't understand it. The, the white folks don't understand you no. niggas, man. No, no. <laughs> you were you were you were. <laughs> just alive. You're right. That man was just living his life. He said it was God. Yeah, but no, that man, right. that man right. did a whole run with Dolph. Boy, say he. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That man was with fat, little fat. This nigga been. You this nigga need a whole, whole new city. This yeah. nigga bad, man. Yeah, I did. I did that like three, four times. Mm. It's like one of the things I just tell the youngsters, like, man, don't be scared. Mm-hmm. Go for what you know. It take a lot. And this shit gonna be scary. I was about to say it take a lot. To <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? City, like, bro. nigga, I was moving to Houston, and I moved here. I moved. I'm moving places. Like, yeah. and if the shit wasn't working out, nigga, I'm moving back home. Wow, shit! Yeah, like, I, give it a try. Yeah, Cut TV man. You miss every shot you don't take, baby. That's right. Thank you for coming mm-hmm. on, Bobo Luciano. Oh, that's good. I mean, this brother here. I keep forgetting your name, Go- and Gooby. I apologize. Gooby. 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 Y'all see that, Goofy? Gooby. Gooby. Okay. Yep. Gooby. From I Flint got Michigan. your music. I'm scared to play it because I don't be wanting to get flagged on YouTube. And he got, a, he got he got he got a project uh-huh. coming though. Don't be scared. Now is it is it something that's on YouTube? Nah, is it, love it. Nah, is it something that's already out? No, it ain't even out yet. He got the first single that we finna drop. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. So you got something clean. But you, but you know how it be. It will later. 
Yeah, yeah. See, you know what I mean. So you just—I gotta ask you something because I heard you say something about that YouTube before y'all get off of here. You was a dog, though. Oh man, heck yeah, that's uh. So listen, man. This uh, th this YouTube thing, you yeah. you pulled up on YouTube. You wasn't doing it as much, but you said that you was getting the first check was fifteen hundred dollars. Heard you in an interview, and then you yeah. said yeah. you start getting nine thousand dollar checks yeah. a month, yeah. and now you pushing your YouTube again. And I, you had to be getting bread to even just kind of back off of YouTube. You had to be yeah. a bread getting nigga. To See, do I that. had yeah, I had a lot of shit going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So you would, he back, could yeah. back off, yeah. but when a man speak and say I was making. This fifteen hundred, it got up to nine, ten, eleven thousand right, dollars a you're month. Right, you're right, but that's yep. heavy, bro. That's and, I, and, and I like because I had learned living. the YouTube shit. Like I learned it like early. Well, I'm one of the people that like if I want to learn some, I study it. So I got to study in this shit. Yeah. Like and it's early, like you said, yeah. So I studied it because I was because everybody was telling me I need to get on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I was like, I was stuck with my DVDs. Like, so okay, yeah, but. You know, shit, I just, I don't know, YouTube is just something that I figured, like, it's going to be good. So I was like, I always figured, like, I need to build this. I don't know why I'm building it yet. You feel me? Like, yeah. it took a minute to realize why I was building it. Because I wasn't getting paid from it for a minute. And then it was like, yeah. okay. And it ain't like how it is now. Like, I just started a new YouTube channel. You got to do a lot of shit to get oh, paid man. now. It, they like, they making it hard for oh, these youngsters. Hard, man. They telling niggas, like, you got to have 4,000 public right. this. That's right. You got to have 1,000 subscribers. Right. You got to do this. I, man, look, when I first started, get what I had to do. I had to sign this little thing right on the internet, and then they sent me a letter in the mail. That was Like it. a post stamp, a Google post stamp in the mail. And, that's and it. it was like, gutter TV, you in. That's it. Wish it was that simple now, right? It ain't nothing like that no yeah, more. Yeah, man, you got to get all this you shit. You got to do like, everything. That shit is crazy. But, but but the smart thing is for an artist to do that early on. Because yeah, like, if you do start, it, go because you are, you're going to forever be putting yourself on other people's platform, mm -hmm. and, and you ain't going to never be... You, it's like giving away your masters. Mm -hmm. you, you pretty mm -hmm. much... That person going to get paid off you for the rest of the time. When you blow up, they going to get paid all your money. And I'm that. back on the YouTube right now. Yeah, like, you, I'm, I'm trying how's to... It, how's it going? It's going good. I mean... I mean, I keep staying at this same little peak with the money right now on it. I'm saying this the money part. I've been staying at the same little peak. I'm trying to get up higher. And then as far as working it, it's cool. I'm just having fun with it. It ain't no pressure on me. I ain't chasing no videos. I don't chase no no interviews. I really don't need, that ain't, you feel me? Yeah. I just, like, you saw how I feel? Yeah. That's what I do. You don't. You gotta think. Cause you're self-made. You gotta think though, look. Do it gutter. You gotta think though. I, that's how I used to do Jeezy them or Gucci them. Just pull it out on them. Yeah, like, they used to be like, man, that nigga gutter like, gutter, how you get that shit? And we, we ain't see, cause you gotta think, everybody that had a camera at that time, they filmed like at a basketball game. Yeah. They film everything, they just hold the camera. I'm a, I'm me. Nigga, I'm a, I'm a banger and shit, nigga. Like, nigga, I'm smoking weed and shit, nigga. Like, <laughs> I ain't finna be holding no camera. I get what's necessary, and that's it. I'm gonna get my drop from the big dog. Yep. I'm gonna get my drop from the big dog. And then I'm gonna get my drop from the homie. And then that's it. If that's all I want, that's it. If I see some peep, you gotta be smart, cameraman peep. I used to know that if I'm around Gucci, man, and I see OG Boss Talk come in the building, I know in my head, I didn't seen OG Boss Talk and Gucci, man, fuck with each other before. Boom. Pull out your camera. This about to be a moment. A moment. I was cold at that. I knew that. These niggas so stupid. I be taking these niggas on the road. Nigga, I be like, did you catch me and Drake talking? They be like, no. That is I be like, you, you, thing. you, how you missed that? Nigga, you seen Drake. Nigga, you knew that me and Drake was finna talk. How you missed that? I just prepped my See, I was I intelligent enough to know that if 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 a somebody come in this bitch and, and that's halfway important, well, go ahead and cut it on out the gate. Cause it's finna be a moment. That's dope. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, that's, I, smart. I, I, that's the same and thing. My do. shit shot up skyrocket high fast because I already I caught moments. I didn't catch just the whole basketball. I'm gonna, game. Say, I'm gonna say yeah. this before you, you get off of here, man. You now you still got all that footage. You can create something out of what you already have oh and people gonna mi migrate to it. Cause yeah, yeah, really, really, my nigga, you don't never come around, man. No, nah, I called you. I called her a couple times <laughs> since then. I done called her about, about one time. I'm gonna call you time. back, man. About one time. <laughs> so, man, hey, man, I'm gonna just say, man, um, man, you one of those guys that I respect in the game. You did your thing. Appreciate we gonna that. ask you to come back for sure. You gotta come back. You gotta come back. Yeah, that's cool. That's I'm being cool. real. Yeah, you cause I ain't really months. get to tell you too though, cause. Miss Jamaica. Jamaica had asked me about my upbringing, and I really would 
We gonna get to into dive it. into that. So that's some I come back. For we gonna that. kick it. Yeah, we gonna kick it, man. We gonna kick it, man. Thank you so much. Bef- for hey, me. before the rap shit. Before the rap. Cause I want people to know we be talking about the rap shit a lot, but before the rap shit. Yeah, that's what like, she yeah, always say. Before the game, I'm like, you ain't been gang banging your whole life. Yeah, man. like, nah, <laughs> you ain't been gang banging out the whole life. I have. I have. At the womb. I mean, at come on, at eleven, twelve. Oh. But well, we won't talk about it though. I mean, before 11, 12, you shit. were video games. You I was, was something. No, you didn't play I no was sports in the hood. Nothing? I was in the South End. No sports. I played little league. One year, but you but, know. no, but I quit because I. <laughs> that's the stuff she want to know. I was right? a nigga that know like if I don't start, I yeah, ain't finna I ain't go to the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm moving on to the next you thing. Smart, you get to the money. Feel me? You get smart to the money. I was ahead of the hub, but I was popular then though because I had already moved on. Oh, so really? when the homies I mean, start smoking weed and gang banging, I had did that shit at twelve. Man, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like I had already moved. Them niggas still playing little league. Nigga, I moved on. Nigga, <laughs> I, I already knew. Nigga, like man, you got the TV, you, man. Hey, you uh, gotta move man, on. Hey, man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love for you, bro. Sure. It's been sure. another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One, where the sure. bosses talk. Yeah.